frequently ask me what my favorite top 10 Atari 2600 games are, and that's a tough question to answer in a short five minute video. What I can do is recommend my top 10 Atari 2600 games to start your collection. If you don't have an Atari 2600, and this is something that you'd like to get into. And I can do this while reviewing the Atari 2600 game catalog from 1982. Because all of the games I'm going to recommend to start your collection are in this catalog. They're all easy to find, easy to buy, affordable Atari 2600 games. So let's check this out because this is a great catalog. And this is going to be a great list of 10 awesome games. This Atari catalog came with games back in the day, and I've had this one in my uh, family's possession for quite some time now, and recently came across it again. It has 49 different program cartridges, game program cartridges listed in here. You open the page and you get an awesome, just beautiful late 70s, early 80s graphics in here. And look how happy these kids are playing the Atari 2600 with their dog. That's that's the American dream right there. Check out some of the marketing here. They talk about Adventure and Pac-Man. The options are unlimited. This is just the beginning of the many fantasies you can enjoy on the Atari video computer system game. And there's no end to the excitement because Atari creates new game program cartridges all the time. Well, they've been a little slow lately. Open this up to the contents. You get a nice two-page spread showing you the various categories of Atari 2600 video games. And this really nice artwork. Atari had just, just wonderful artwork on their games. You know that, Video Pinball, not one of my favorites. However, this game is one of my favorites. Demons to Diamonds for the Atari 2600. One I highly recommend and in my top 10 games to get to begin your collection. If we look at the games in the Skill Gallery category, you got Breakout, Circus Atari, Human Cannibal, Maze Craze, Pac-Man, Skydiver, Super Breakout, and Video Pinball. I'll recommend two of these on my top 10 lists. My top 10 list of games to get to start your collection. Maze Craze, a wonderful two-player game, and a game I've previously reviewed. I've previously reviewed all of these games, by the way, so you can watch all those reviews. And Super Breakout which has a slight edge over standard breakout, but if you buy super breakout, you'll probably get a uh, regular breakout at the same time. An excellent paddle controller game like Pong or Arkanoid, super breakout is, is a must have. And although I love Pac-Man, uh, not my favorite game on the Atari 2600. The classics corner, guy thinking hard there about chess or astronomy or Star Trek. In the classics corner, we have some particularly exciting artwork. I like that one. Reminds me of a 60s James Bond film. To continue onward here, you can see how incredible this catalog is and how well made this is. They don't do this anymore. It's the Space Station. We get space games. And one of my all-time favorite games ever created, Berserk which could be up there with my number one Atari 2600 game ever made. Love Berserk. Check out the artwork on that. Some of these games get nice full page spreads too, which is cool. Turn the page here. Star Raiders, kind of cool, but not one of my favorites. Asteroids, Defender, Missile Command, Space Invaders, Space War and Yara's Revenge. Uh, several of these are in my top 10 list. Defender, Missile Command, Space Invaders, and Yara's Revenge. All must-have games here on the Space Station section. Let's check out Adventure Territory. I like how this Atari catalog breaks these games out in, in fun, exciting, colorful categories like this. I think this makes them really exciting. And as many people know, the artwork on Atari games was frequently far more exciting than the games themselves. And here in Adventure Territory, Many Atari 2600 purists will recommend Adventure as a top 10 Atari game. Uh, I, don't, I don't agree. I think if you're just getting into Atari games, you probably won't find that one terribly exciting. However, when we get to the racetrack, let's check out some of these games. We do have a top 10 game on here. 
Indy 500, an excellent game. And uh, you need the driving controllers to play this game, but it's, it's so much fun. And we have a couple of racing games on here, including Dodgem, Indy 500, Night Driver, Slot Racers, Street Racer. And we get to the sports arena. Get some uh, exciting sports related graphics here for basketball, bowling, football, golf, home run, and Pele's soccer. There he is, smiling. And Video Olympics. Then the combat zone. There were a lot of fun two-player games on the Atari 2600. Many of them here in the combat zone, including two on the top 10, Air Sea Battle, a must-have, and Combat. These are a lot of fun. We also have Canyon Bomber, Outlaw, and Warlords, which are excellent games, but from the top 10 category, Air Sea Battle, Combat. Gotta have those games. Here's the Atari 2600 Learning Center. Coincidentally, it's at the very back of the catalog. Maybe they figured nobody would be looking at it. And we have children learning and playing video games at the same time. Math Grand Prix, which is actually a lot of fun. I like Math Grand Prix. The Learning Center has some pretty interesting games, including basic programming, brain games, code breaker, a game of concentration. I don't think I've ever played that one. And Hangman. I like Hangman. That's a fun game. And then to uh, conclude the catalog, if that's not the ultimate Atari accessory, I don't know what is. The Atari Woodgrained Game Center, which came with a turntable lid to keep dust off of your Atari. That's beautiful. If you have one of those, that should be the centerpiece of your home. Love that thing. It's a nice little uh, collection of Atari games in an Atari game uh, storage thing. Remember those? I think I had one. Oh look, a book with faux vinyl or leather, whatever. Either way, that's awesome. It's like a trapper keeper for Atari cartridges. The very last page, sadly, they have the coming attractions. Now this catalog was, uh, has a copyright of 1982 on it, and as you know, the video game crash occurred near the end of 83 or 1984, somewhere around there. And uh, they had some predictions for the future here. At this very moment, our Atari engineers are working on challenging and exciting new game program cartridges. Most of these games in progress are so new, we haven't even named them yet. But we can tell you to expect the following. You'll soon see a great group of Atari games with super realistic graphics. Life like pro players will jog onto the field in their new football game, take their place in baseball, and serve up a jolly version of video volleyball. I think they're talking about the real sports games with the silver labels which they did release, at least uh, I have the football game. Plus, we'll bring in the big guns for a super new version of Combat. We're offering a gripping adventure game in two installments during October, would that be Sword Quest? And November. And there's another entertaining and educational Just For Kids game on the way. In fact, there's lots more Atari excitement in store for you, and it will be in stores near you before you know it. if the future only looked like this. Well, actually it kind of does. Classic Game Room and the Atari Wizard have selected our top 10 Atari 2600 games to begin your Atari collection out of the Atari catalog here. And if you're lucky, you might be able to find all of these games in one lot on eBay or something. Get them all and they'll come with an Atari catalog because this is a tremendous catalog and shows the care that Atari put into their graphics and their artwork and their, and their catalog back when they were kings of the hill in the, in the video game market before the video game crash. Try to get that to stand there. Here's the top 10 games I'll recommend for starting your Atari 2600 collection if you're a new gamer today or if you're recollecting your games and you're in your 30s and 40s or whatever and trying to build your collection again. This is a nice cross-section of what makes Atari games special and shows the different kinds of games that were on the Atari. Super Breakout, Demons to Diamonds, Maze Craze, Defender, Combat, Berserk, Missile Command, Yars Revenge, Air Sea Battle, and Indy 500. We have some paddle games like 
Super Breakout, Demons to Diamonds, two-player game like Maze Craze, Space Adventure and arcade-style games with Defender, Combat, must-have two-player game, Berserk, incredible game, Missile Command, good arcade conversion, Yara's Revenge, one of the best games ever created, Air Sea Battle, and Indy 500. But wait, there's more. Because I can't count, I actually listed an 11th game while going through the Atari catalog, and that would be Space Invaders, another must-have for the Atari 2600. So this top 10 list turned into a top 11 list. But with the amount of excitement in this stack of games, who cares if it's 10 or 11 games? Is this the definitive top 11 best Atari 2600 games ever created? Probably not, but this is my recommendation for the top 11 games out of the excellent Atari catalog to start your collection. I have not added into this pile some of the amazing Activision games or Magic games or later Atari 2600 games. And by later, I mean like 1983 or 1984. But this is a great place to get started or rebuild your collection and try to pick up this amazing Atari catalog while you're collecting these games. As far as where to buy these things, check out flea markets, yard sales, or just try to get one big bulk lot on eBay. Make sure to get joystick controllers, paddle controllers, so you can play Super Breakout, Demons to Diamonds. And usually when you buy Indy 500, you'll find it comes with the driving controllers. Let's hope that some of Atari's future predictions from their catalog come true, and we see some new Atari 2600 games in the future, because who knows, maybe this top 11 list will have to become a top 12 or top 13, or top 1,000 Atari 2600 games. Or 1,001. <laughs> Perhaps the Atari wizard sees a wood-grained Atari game center in my future. We can only hope.